So ordinarily, I don't light up the bar like this. This is usually where I do my most of my videos at. Ordinarily, I want to light it up like this, but this is a very, very special video. It is my third Ghoulish Goodies mystery box unboxing. I'm excited. You all, I know you're all excited. Um, I already cut the box open. I'm ready to go. Let's get into this thing. I've had it for a week. And I think it's time. So, without further ado... Oh, there's a little a little spider guy already. And remember, my videos, we, we I show everything. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, whatever it is you want to do, whatever it is you need to do. We're going to see what's in here. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I did say this is my third one. It's also the biggest one I've ever ordered. So... We're going to see what's in here. Um, right off the bat, there's the spider webs and the green, the neon green webbing, which is pretty cool. Um, we're going to see what's right here on top. We did say that there's something in the bottom, in the flaps. I don't know what that's talking about. We're going to basically just disassemble this box if we have to. Pardon my voice. I'm excited. I got my knife. It's plastic because it's idiot proof. Anyway, let's let's comments shall we now i'm just now what i usually do is i just pick something out and, and it's kind of like a blind draw if you will all right so we got ourselves a nice little nightmare before christmas stationery here uh everybody knows nightmare before christmas has a special place in my heart I don't know why I said it like that. Thank you for your business and support. We hope that you will check out our website and take a bigger bite of our ghoulish goodies. We have added a few extras in hopes that it may bring a little creepy happiness to you and your family at this very difficult time. Stay spooky, safe, and healthy, ghoulish goodies. Yo, I've been on your guys' website a lot. I'm always checking it out, so you don't got to worry about that. Um, I don't know I'm going to put all this stuff. I really don't, but... We're gonna blind draw again and see what's what's happening. Oh, look at here. He's a little tangled. This is kind of cool though. Only because I don't know how he knows stuff like this. I, I have a feeling maybe he's watching my videos. But I started collecting like skeleton animals, basically to have around my house. And I have a bat above my kitchen sink, and I kind of wanted to put a bat above either my bathroom sink or maybe like in a visor or a hearse visor or whatever so these things are always appreciated always see what i did there but anyway so we got ourselves a hanging bat dude awesome um could never have enough skeleton stuff <laughs> and we have ourselves a little foam tombstone this is awesome um this would be great display actually for a hearse even if it's just in the back of the hearse. Why the hell not, right? See? See? I think outside the box or something. Sorry, Michael. Um, so, what else do we got in here? And I really think he, uh, we have an envelope. I know he's excited about this, about what he was able to get for me. I know he is. Um, so we're going to see. It looks like I got myself a, a letter... More stationary, a card perhaps, a Christmas card um, from the good people at Toxic Tunes. You guys already know I'm a big fan of Toxic Tunes. Good old Eric and his cool little Christmas card. Um, just so you know, I did not order this uh, like for a Christmas thing. It's just what he's been sending me, which is awesome. And we're going to see, I think this is the, the infamous letter he always sends me. Um, I got another toe tag, because, you know, <laughs> it seems like every time I get one, I get a new tag, which I don't know if that means I keep dying or what. Let's see, case number 666, got my name spelled correctly, awesome. Cause of death, buried alive, nice. Physician, physician? Physi Dr. Feelgood, funeral director, Grim Grimly, yes. Never take a nap on an open grave in a cemetery, see? <laughs> this guy's watching my stuff, he's gotta be. Um, because I actually did fall asleep. It wasn't an open grave, but I did fall asleep over the summertime in a cemetery. Whew! You know, sometimes the things you do. Um, I got a bunch of 
Halloween like confetti. There's a little roach. Oh. So he's got he's got himself he he looks like he wrote himself. I'm sorry, I'm excited. It looks like he wrote me a letter. He printed it. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta go through all this because this confetti is really cool. I'm sorry it's not on a shot, but little ghosts and stuff. Joe, welcome back to our dark crypt. We were we've been expecting you. Are you ready for the biggest, best, most creeptastic mystery box yet? We hope it gives you lots of bloody nightmares. Stay safe. Stay happy, healthy, and spooky. Darkest wishes, ghoulish goodies. Uh, this is the same cool handwriting that I get every every time he's, every time I get one of these. And the stationery is also awesome. As a matter of fact, let's try to put, try to keep things together. I kind of want to read this um, out loud, but I think I'm just going to skim over it real quick. Uh, welcome back to our crib. Thank you for buying our super deluxe gothic nightmare mystery box. That's what I ordered. We hope that you will love your box, and you will be back for more. He already knows I will. We really appreciate your understanding and patience. We feel terrible about the unforced and unavoidable delays as we pride ourselves on a fast, professional, and efficient business. But rest assured, I'm surprised he didn't say rest in peace there. But rest assured that we overordered in the event that this might happen, so we are fully stopped that we should not, hopefully, experience these kind of delays moving forward. Now, I don't know. I guess if it, he thinks maybe it took longer to get here, I don't know. Please help us if you can to really need unboxing videos badly. Well, you're in luck because I'm creating one right now. If you are happy with Google Cruise, please feel free to tell your family and friends about us. You know what? I try to do that as often as I can. Um, I want to think I'm going to start doing also. I mean, I got, I got some of your stickers on my cars for shows and whatever, and I'm basically just going to have to pour you guys out. Um, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I'm definitely going to start doing that. Um, because this thing is awesome. Um... There's, I just know that there's just so much stuff in here. I'm sorry I'm excited again because I have more coolish, ghoulish stickers. Oh man, look at these guys. Vampire Freaks. That's really cool. I don't know what Vampire Freaks is, but he sent me a collection. Looks like Alice, yeah. Um, a collection of stickers from them. A skeleton cat sticker. Man, I really need to find, um, that's really cool. <laughs> um, I, I really need to find, like, more, I need to buy another car. <laughs> that's really cool, I like that one. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, actually, um, is probably, because I always get so many stickers, there's a lot here, um, more vampire freaks. I think what I'm going to do, probably, um, is put more on my car. Susie and the Banshees, definitely. Bauhaus, definitely go for a Bauhaus sticker. Some Gothic Cathedral, looks like. Peter Murphy, nice. I kind of, um, Vampira, the old Batman logo. Is this, there's a skeleton bat little sticker. And there's this guy. I wonder if I should just create like a sticker book. Or is that, does that sound weird? I don't know. A uh, nice dripping black skull. See, these things you could just put anywhere. Memento Mori. These things you could just stick anywhere. And they're awesome. Look at these guys. He's really horny. Sorry. Nice skull there. I mean, I just, I've got so many of these little stickers, I don't even know really what to do with them. I just, yeah, I'm like, hey, what do I do with these things? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Oh, yes, that's a her sticker if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that might be a her sticker, too. I don't know why. Oh, we got the Plague Doctor. Nice. Man, there's a lot here. These are all, this is just the tip of the iceberg guys i know i don't know i've done these unboxings before but like i said this is the biggest one we're gonna do and i hope you all just stay tuned for this because it's amazing and it's awesome and um i'm sorry if i'm going through these stickers awfully fast there's just so many of them no oh, that's a horse sticker if i've ever seen one stay spooky um oh i even got a, another package an individual package of stickers 
Oh, lordy, lordy. Let me go. <laughs> That's another her sticker. It is what it is. It's a little haunted house sticker. Another vampire freaks. Must have been on the bottom. On the bottom. And it looks like a butterfly type of sticker. See, I wonder what I could even do with some of these. Now, these are a little more cartoony, but they're really cool nonetheless. Look at this guy. I mean, the way he loads you up. I mean, this is just probably one thing of stickers he sent. Um, I like this one. This one's cool. Uh, this one's cool, too. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. Uh, Bloody Halloween. There's another horse sticker if I've ever seen one. Another horse sticker if I've ever seen one. The guy, so, the guy kind of... He kind of learns what you like and what your interests are, and sometimes he'll even ask you by email or whatever, which he's done before. And he knows I have two horses. Um, one of them's a little more contemporary for showing. The other one's supposed to be like a Halloween-themed freak fest. So, either way, it's still cool stuff. I mean, no matter what he gives me, it's going to be used, you know what I mean? Ooh. Here's our first uh, wrapping. Um, see what's inside, I guess, huh? Looks like I got a little bit of confetti here. Don't mind me. I'm pretty excited about this stuff, guys. You know, what I'm going to do also is use my floor to the left as a trash can because I always forget to move the damn trash can that's right over there, over here. Oh, look at this shit Good stuff. This is awesome. Double walled travel tumbler. Um, I must have, he knows I like the Ghostbusters too, um, not just because of the Ecto-1, that's got a lot to do with it, but, I mean, I think the biggest, like, the biggest humor about Ghostbusters is that they're chasing ghosts in an ambulance first combo. <laughs> yeah, think of that one, did you? How many of those ghosts are they chasing that was actually in that car at one point? Ah, so you nobody thought of that shit. Anyway, sweet, uh, Ghostbusters tumbler, nice. Let's see what else we got. Oh, oh, got the little. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. I don't have any kids, but I do like the wrapping paper on the left. Oh man, this dude did not. I feel like it's my birthday or something all over again. Fleece throw blanket. He gave me one. It's got a bunch of bats on it last time or two times ago. And it's kind of just hanging out here on my couch. This one. Ooh, I like this one. Sourpuss. Haunted home. So it's a it's a fleece. Fleece Navidad. Oh wow, look at this I don't know how well you guys can see this. Look at this shit, guys. For real. It's got the coffin on it. Oh my goodness. This looks like a hearse blanket for when we're at a show and it's hot or whatever but it's cool in the morning or it's cool in the evening or whatever the case and girlfriend's with me and she's like I'm cold I'm like take out the fleece blankie man that's, my, that's right there is my favorite fleece blanket that I have and I've got like three or four of them that's like hanging on the wall type of material oh Whew, all right, what do we got here? More, uh, I don't know who this is, paper, but it's cool. I, uh, I think it's some kind of Disney character. You all can tell me. That's what I was. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I have a feeling this is probably... <laughs> See? This guy knows me. He knows, he knows you. All you have to do is answer his questions, answer, answer his emails. Lord knows I've done it a few times. I told him, I was like, I think this is like the most underrated movie of all time. Maybe not of all time, but I definitely think Pumpkinhead is one of the best movies ever made. I don't care what anybody says, I really don't. So he gave me the collector's edition Pumpkinhead. <sighs> because I really think Pumpkinhead is kind of like... And just the concept is so simple and whatever. And I really think it needs a remake, although I'm afraid they're going to mess it up. So what are you going to do? What else do we got here? Oh. <laughs> Two movie fright fests. 
of the monster. See? Again, the guy knows you. He, he, he just he knows you. You know what I mean? This guy answers questions. Tell him what you're into. Yada, yada, yada. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this box, guys. I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it. So this is where the big bags come in. And in the big bags are usually bags of candy and little toys and little and crayons it looks like and just all kinds of little knickknacks. We're gonna see how many exactly how many bags we have in here first. See so look at this stuff. We got candy. We got chocolates. Oh yeah. Oh look at this little dude. See? A little pencil <laughs> eraser it looks like. I don't know what he is. But he's a little dude. Um so um so we got these bags just full of more bags. See, more candy. Oh, I got the Ouija mints. Yeah, I don't know what those are. Yeah. Oh, is there a horse sticker in here? I'm going to have to open these guys up. I'm going to have to open these up. I was probably going to anyway. Oh, he's got some, got some stragglers in here. I think one of the bags is open. I'm going to have to check out the horse thing. I know you all want to. I know you all want to. Man, guys. This is this is this isn't even this isn't even a third. This isn't even man. This just isn't even. Oh, look at this shit. Scare freshener from Creepsville has these. I had no idea, but he knows. I have two horses. I told you this guy will take care of you. He knows you. I feel like he knows me more than I know myself. I hate to say stupid cheesy stuff like that, but these are awesome. I don't know what they smell like. I don't really care. I'm going in the hearses come spring. And we're going to have a good old, good old time. Ooh. Candies. I'm not going to show you. I know I said I was going to show you everything. I'm not showing you every kind of candy I have. Unless, of course, it kind of just sticks out. Shortbread cookies. Halloween, of course. Hanging decor. What is this now? i got a candy cane. I've got this cool dude. I can just hang up anywhere. See? You know what I mean? More decorations. I'm telling you. Um, matter of fact, I think I'm going to get the mints out of here. The Ouija mints. Not Luigi. The Ouija mints. And, uh, Witch's Brew Kit Kat. Interesting. Is that chapstick? Because I know who gets the chapstick. The, the woman gets the chapstick. And, I'm going to put all those little candies in here back. Because, like I said, I'm not going to, unless it unless this stands out. Like the shortbread cookies, which I may or may not partake in right now. I probably won't do that, but we're just going to see, and we're going to bag this stuff back up, because, you know, I mean, like I said, I was going to show you guys everything, but let's be real here. Oh, there's a set of, set of fangs. Can you guys see that? Candy, candy, candy. Ooh, Hershey's fangs? See, where, where does he find stuff like this? I have no idea. I think he's got contacts or something. I don't know how good his vision is. Anyway. Ooh, is this, uh, make it blocks? That's always how he's got everything sealed individually. In plastic. Um, sludge slime. How to assemble your figure. Ha! So apparently there's a figure in here. And apparently I have to assemble him. Will there be a sludge slime figure assembling video? Tune in to find out. Um, I don't know what this guy is. Grow your own toy. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I guess it just grows for some reason. But, you know. Look at this thing. Rubber magnet. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. See, I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to have to... Dude, man. Where does he find this sh stuff? This hearse pin. I have a hearse pin just like this, but it does not have a coffin out the back. I'm going to have to almost, like, first of all, I'm going to have to, like, send him a thank you email like I usually do anyway. But I'm also going to have to take take whatever I whatever's left in this box, which is a lot. Believe you me. Or believe me you or whatever. I'm going to have to take it. I'm going to have to separate the stuff that goes 
to the horses. Stuff that just doesn't. Man, you guys are in for a long, long ride. Pause on that. Um, this looks like it's all just ooh, jumbo snacks. Kellogg's pops. Who knew? Um, look at this. Look at this thing here. I'm not even sure what this is. Look like an astronaut and, a, and an ornament. I don't know. What it is. Um, but anyway, ooh, what's in the box? Let's, what did I say? So I got a little, uh, let's hide. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It says let's hide at the coffin. It's a casket, whatever. This dude is just spoiling me already. I got some pretzels, Halloween pretzels, zombie Skittles. What does he, what do they, what do they, do I just not, I don't know. I feel like I go to the store, I get more Adam's Family cards, that's, Pretty uh, common. I don't. I feel like. Ooh, what is that? I feel like I go to the store, and by the store I mean like the grocery store or whatever. Once a week. All times of the year. I do not see the stuff that he has. I'm gonna put this down here. I have a feeling that is not the only bag of stuff, but who knows? Maybe this. Anyway, yeah, I don't know where he sees. I'm about to peek. I'm sorry. I don't know where anything is. Like, I don't know where he sees um, some of the stuff. Look at this dude. So it's a ghost. It's a floating, it's a hanging ghost dude. Look at that. <laughs> I like the look on his face. Again. Oh, he's got like arms or something. You can pose him. That's pretty cool. Look at that guy. See? Another hanging dude. Um, who I could just hang up anywhere, really. What's nice about having the ceiling like it is. Oh, see? This guy... <laughs> I think he's been in my house. I think that's the thing. And I just hope he shows up when I'm dressed. You know what I mean? And not... Oh, there we go. That movie for Christmas. A Christmas paper. Um, anyway. What was I going to say? I don't know. I'm rambling. So, that's the cool thing about having a, a ceiling like this. You can just hang whatever. Yeah, someone's gonna have a mess to clean up, but it's probably me. What is this thing? Keep it clean. Hand sanitizer bottle holder. Excuse me. <coughs> Check it out. It's for hand sanitizer. It's the Creepsville 666 brand, which I know of. Apparently, I just don't shop for them or shop at it or whatever. Oh, uh, hold on. So he actually gave me. Because he wants me to be safe, because he cares, I know he does. So he gave me some hand sanitizer that's actually gonna, I'm assuming, would fit in there. He thinks of everything he does, he does. I'm not sure what this is. I betcha, if I see the sanitizer, I betcha this is like some kind of face mask. Or maybe a uh, gator, whatever they call those things. I betcha it is, because I see the theme here. Oh, well, it's actually two of them. And I know he's looking out for me, because he cares. This guy will take care of you. I told, told, see, exactly. Oh, well, I think it's upside down. So you'd wear it like that. Like, uh, oh, who's that YouTuber that does that? He does all the Halloween shopping and whatever. I can't think of his name, and I'm sorry. If I think of him, I'll link him in the description. And here's a red one. <laughs> you know what? It's funny that he actually added these because... I actually bought like a six pack of gators. They're just plain black. Or whatever, a four pack. I'm down to like two. I don't know where the hell they're ending up at. Um, I guess they just kind of disappear. Alright, he's got a lot of stuff that's wrapped in here. So I guess I don't feel so bad about peeking. Let me grab something I can grab. Ooh, look at this thing. Look at this. This festive black paper. Um, yeah, the gators are cool. Definitely. I'm not really much of a mask guy. I'm about to end this video because I don't know what else to expect of this box. But this is the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know who else has this. I am sharing this on every hearse page group thing I am with. Oh, it's that sourpuss again. Anyway, I'm going to share this. This is the best goddamn pillow ever. I can't even... I don't even... How, do, how would... I don't even... 
I'm sorry, I'm done. How does one know something like this even exists? Oh my god. And I don't even... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. All I know is... This dude is... Is incredible. This is, shit's incredible already. And I'm not even... It doesn't look like I'm halfway through, guys. Like, for real. Maybe I am. I don't know. Oh, I hate to even... How do you top a hearse pillow? I guess we'll find out. Because I think he topped the fleece. <laughs> I didn't think he could do that. Well, you know. Sometimes you just gotta... I just gotta open stuff up and I guess figure it out on your on your own or whatever the hell I'm trying to say. Well, this is bubble wrapped all the hell. Okay, let's see. Bought a knife just for this reason. Is this like? <laughs> I think it's baking wire. Oh look at this shit. See now he must know. It's not baking wire. It's just like what you would put out if you had a Halloween party. Why would he know that? He obviously knows that I throw a Halloween party over here. I mean, what else? <laughs> How else would you? He's spying on me. I'm, I'm convinced. I think he's spying on me. Which is fine. But like I said. Um, actually, maybe I didn't say. Spy on me all you want. I don't, I don't care. Because those, those are really going to come in handy too. Um, let me get rid of some of this paper. That, by the way, is the coolest paper I've ever seen also. And let's see what else is in here. Oh my god, that's heavy. Jeez, ow. I feel like a wuss. But this is a heavy one. And it's already kind of poor, so... It actually has. So it's got Amazon Prime bags. Lord knows I've seen these a hundred times. If he hacked into my wish list... <laughs> I'm going to be a little concerned. A little concerned. There's a, there is weird that there's stuff that's disappearing off my wish list. No, I'm kidding. There is later. Once you put it in your cart and buy it, though, it does disappear. Um, open me after you open envelopes. Look at this. Open me after you open envelope. This must be envelope. Let's open the two bags first. Huh. I don't know what else to say, guys. I, I'm done. I can't. I can't. He's got my. He's got everything I would want to display. You know what I mean? Especially for car shows, city morgue sign. I, oh my God! Here we go again. <laughs> Don't we? We're taking a charge. <sighs> I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. Um, Grim Reaper only on one side, a dead end on the other. Any one of these, like this can go on the silver car, I think. <laughs> Which is really funny. Because I don't think it was a front end plate. I don't think there was anything on there. This could just hang anywhere. I'm just, I'm just thinking already about where to put this stuff. It's just a look at this thing. 1951 Henny Packard. All the core. So I think this is just a sign for display to hang up somewhere. It's metal. It's tin, whatever. It's really cool. I like it. Check it out. Um, the dude's hooking me up with first items. Because like I said, he knows all you have to do is tell him. I mean, you know. I did, there's a lot of stuff in here. I did see that there was a Create Your Own Mystery Box on his website now. I don't see, now that I'm on my third, I don't think that's necessary because I think he knows me well enough. But that's still cool. I did see this. I did see this before. And I didn't order it. And now I'm glad I didn't because it's the old infamous first centerpiece. Which is basically a... I think it's just like a decorative box you would use to display. Which is cool. Um, hopefully I don't fuck it up. But apparently you can have candy or whatever come out the front. I don't know why it doesn't come out the back. That's weird. But that's really cool. I might actually do that. I might actually put that in the back of the, one of the cars and just have... I mean, I know it's a COVID situation, but we shall see. 
I was gonna say, I just have a, a free for all wall decoration. What is this here? <laughs> I saw this too. This was this literally the same patch was in my Amazon shop was in my wish list. Um, an iron on patch because what I wanted to do was I wanted to get a shirt to have my girlfriend iron on a bunch of patches for me because I got her this thing that doesn't. It's not like an iron. It's uh, I forget what it's called. Um, anyway, I got her this thing, and that's what I wanted her to do. I just have to, I have to find a work shirt or something big enough for her to do that, and I know she's busy, but this is really cool, too. Check this out. Wall decoration mural. See, now I actually got one behind me right now that I just got. So, yeah, see, he's thinking the same thing I am. Um, that can go anywhere, though. What is this thing? Monster World. <laughs> Viva La Lucha? Well, it's a magazine. Um, usually what I do, or what I was going to do last year, was I was going to keep, like, horror-themed magazines in the hearse, in case that we were at a show, A, there's something to look at, but <laughs> not really, or B, there's something for people to go like, oh, check this out, he's got some weird, oh, no, this is the, I probably can't, well, maybe I can't. This is the uh, Girls and Corpses magazine. I guess I could show the front. Um, I probably can't show the back. Well, maybe. I don't know. But this is another magazine that he usually sends or includes. I don't mind, you know. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, da -da -da. Norma Jean, Return of the Epic New Album, Wrongdoers. Includes a song, If You Got It at Five. You went, got It at Fifty, Sword in Mouth, Fire Eyes. So this must be a CD or some music on it. Funeral singer, sun dies, blue moon, really. I'll have to give this a listen. Um, I wonder if it's kind of mellow or kind of doom and gloom or whatever, but we have to give that a listen, for sure. What else do we got? We have a door cover um, decoration. It actually lights up. Pretty sweet. Look at that. Yep, 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 yep. So he's, he's like he's... I've already got stuff for our next Halloween party. Oh, yeah, this is the spirit... Halloween, support Halloween, uh, magnets. I got a couple of these on my fridge down here. Probably where this one's going to go too. Could never have enough of those though because I seriously believe in supporting Halloween. 100% of the time. New kitchen towel. Check this out. The gold skulls. Check that out. Pretty sweet. Man, I don't even know where to put all this stuff. Is this a chalkboard? What is this? It is indeed a chalkboard. I could probably hang anywhere, I guess. Even got his own little chalk. Look at this shit. Attached, people. Anyway, so I can hang this up. I'm going to leave myself little notes. Works with chalk, see? I mean, they gave me chalk. Up, so that's really cool. I like that. I wonder if I can <laughs> carry that around and just judge car shows if I ever had to. Did I even get... I did get... I got another towel. Check this out. Let's trick or treat. Jack-o'-lantern towel. Sweet. I actually have a bunch of Halloween towels. Because I bought, if you got it, this guy's been in my house. He's fucking, dude, you've been in my house? I've got the towels that match these oven, <laughs> whatever they're called. I'm sorry, I'm excited again. I've Seriously, I've got I've got the towels that match this. This dude's been in my house. <sighs> I'm about to start arming the place. And I got an oven mitt that matches the towel that he got me too. Pretty sweet. And we have a... See, this would definitely take this to car shows. A nightmare horror coloring book. See? <laughs> I don't make this shit up. So, look at that. Oh, yep. Yeah. A oh, plague doctor. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Children of the Corn. Clown. Children of the Corn esque, I should say. I don't think this is really um, anybody in particular, however. So, now, we're on the envelope. But I have instructions to open this one first. Oh, wait. Open me after. I would have screwed that up on film. He would have never... I would have never heard the end of that. Anyway, let's see what we got in here, in store. I'm supposed to open this first, so... You guys saw it. Horror. What is this thing? Is this a bone? I don't know what that is. That's kind of weird. I guess we're going to find out. Um, okay. 
horror hunks. <laughs> 2021. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter? Why? <laughs> Clockwork Orange? Why did he send me Beetlejuice? Candyman? <laughs> so it's a calendar, but it's called Horror Hunks. So, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to see anymore. I'm not sure why he sent me that. Now I really need to know what, what's going on here. Because, <laughs> because Inquiring Minds want to know, I guess. Like, I mean, I do need a calendar, but I don't know if I need one that bad, you know what I mean? Um, if I can just, alright. Whew! Man, I feel like I'm talking way too fast, and I apologize. I get excited over, this, over, over the ghoulish goodies, you know. Because, you know, he hits it out of the park every time. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Let's see what this says. If I can even open this thing. What is wrong with me right now? Oh, uh, just kidding. See, even undead ghouls like me can be humorous. Just kidding. See, even undead ghouls like me can be humorous. Ah. But I do have a horror hunks calendar, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to do with it, but this is it, this is it right here. I don't know what to do with it. I can't really, I mean, I guess I probably could show a good, a good example, um, of what they are. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> for what it is, it's funny, but, um, yeah, for what it is, it's pretty funny. I get the joke. Um, but, I, I, I would have been okay with kittens or something, you know what I mean? So... Um, I guess we're going to see what else is in this box. Because we're not done, you know. Man, i got to mess this thing up. I know I said that already. Let's see what else is in here. That's, that's ghoulish and goody type of, type of stuff here. Um, oh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. And I feel like Oh, this is fragile. So I feel like I can read. Um, so I feel like the knife is coming into play here. Because it's fragile. And I'm hoping it's not cuttable. Oh. I don't know if that's even a word. Whatever. I like that tumbler that comes on. Anyway. Oh, sorry, the calendar got me, got me kind of cracking up. Um, so there's a bunch of, I don't know what this is, there's a bunch of, it looks like there's two separate things here, um, oh, there we go, we're gonna see if we can open these up carefully, um, yeah, we really wrap the hell out of this, ah, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, glass, Tumblr, see? See? Awesome. Awesome. Look at that. Classic. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. So we got a nice Ghostbusters tumbler. Um, I'm going to see what this is, though. Mm. Um, oh yeah, this is, this is really taped up. And this is raw and unedited. Man, this is wrapped up like a... I wish I wrapped up like a douche. Or whatever, douche? It's revved up like a douche, Joe. Read the... God bless America. Land of the free. Home of the brave. Look at this thing. See? This would have been an awesome wedding gift, too. Not that I got married or anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> See? Just married. This is really fucking cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. That's badass. I can see why it's very fragile. They're very cool. Wow. Man. This is like a... If he ever did like a hearse theme box... First of all... <laughs> if, you, if you do that... That's my idea. Second of all... It's a... Uh, gonna be in my shopping cart like ASAP. Let me see here. So I got this big old box here. Yes. So let's see. 
Like this one's fragile too. Maybe it's not. Ugh. I literally have just a big <laughs> pile of paper right down here right now. Which is fine. Holy cow! There is just a bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, it's almost like a, it's, so this is what I would call a mystery box inside of a mystery box. So we're going to go through this, this is, like I said, it looks like there's just a bunch of cool stuff in here. Some bloody candles. Nice, huh? Lord knows I got enough of candelabras hanging around. We got the rock. I don't know why, but there's the rock. We got the rock. The Rudy Poo. We have the monster... The grave digger, nice. Hell yeah. We, which I, you know what? Honestly, with all the hearses and ambulances or whatever I collect, I actually and the ecto ones, I do not have this, which is really sad. I actually don't have one, which is Hugh Morris in its own right. Oh, you know what? Oh my God, I was looking for one of these. I was looking for one of these. Um, I kind of want to do. It's just, like, that's another car show thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> just have it, in my, have it in my pocket or something and just play it. I don't know, I just like little things like this. They're novelty, for sure, but what else have we got in here? We have John Cena. Interesting, huh? And The Rock. We're going to have a wrestling match here soon. We also have, I'm not sure, oh, we got Roman Reigns. Hey. We have a, we have the posable, the mini posable skeleton. Look at that guy. I have a couple of these upstairs, actually. Because, again, I think the dude's been in my house. <clears throat> Put this guy here. We have a skeleton hand. Turn the world around in a skeleton hand. Not a white zombie. Rob zombie. Some kind of zombie. Oh, look at this dude. <laughs> Lights up, does it? Huh. I mean, these batteries. Check this out, though, huh? Halloween. Um, little trinket box. Of some such. Is it upside down? Am I tripping? We're going to play with that later. <laughs> so maybe I am tripping. We also have Finn Baylor. Z. Um, oh, there's actually something... Seth Rollins. Look at this guy. Huh. Um, so I think there's actually something wrapped in here, too. Who's this guy? AJ Styles. I don't know why he's, he's giving me all these little miniature wrestling dudes. Um, what is that? Oh, this one's cool, though, of course. You know, why wouldn't it be? It's a little mini uh, Undertaker. See? Another, uh, looks like another Hearst toy to me. Hearst display, I should say. Um, I don't know. I'm just putting things randomly around. Let's see what's in here. I, I do see what's down there. Well, let's see what's in here. The mystery box and the mystery box. Oh, look at this. We've got... What is this? Oh, it looks like some MMA heavyweight in the world. Fedora. Fedor Returns. Huh. Oh, it looks like some... Eight fights in three hours. That's pretty cool. And then we got the 2010 Survivor Series. I'll be damned if I remember who was even wrestling. Um, huh. There's my boy Kane, the homie. Cool, cool. I'm running out of room up here. It's getting bad. And I have... I don't even know they made these. Stone Cold Steve Austin zombie figure. Check that out. I didn't even know these existed. That's pretty cool. I like it. As far as Undertaker doesn't have one, I guess that wouldn't be too too cliche. Uh, that's pretty cool, though. Um, man, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up. So I think he said there was something else that he had to stuff in here, and I wonder if this is what it is. I don't know. He said there was something in the flaps. I don't know what that sounds like, but uh, this must be it because I'm pretty sure we've come to the end of the box. So. Let's see what it is that he had to, he, he basically said he stuffed this in here, like, last minute and then shipped it. So, 
Like, he was on his way to ship it, I think, and he was like, damn, the thing's still not here or whatever. So we're going to see what it is. Because, you know, that's what we're here to do. We're here to open stuff and see what it is. Is this a scarf? I'm done. If this is, a, if this is what I... This is what I think it is. I'm wearing it. First of all, I'm wearing it tomorrow, probably. Um, but, uh... Oh, this is so cool. It is a scarf. <laughs> this is a scarf. Check it out, guys. A hearse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, this must have been what he was waiting for, or waiting on. And I still don't understand why he has to feel the need to apologize. But the scarf... That's, all this stuff is the best. The dude just totally, totally outdid himself again, like he always does. The her stuff is so cool. The coffins and the caskets are cool. All that candy that I, I don't need is still appreciated and cool. I mean, another pin, patches, stickers up my yang, that hearse pillow. Dude, he's just totally, totally outdone himself again. I got new kitchen towels, I got DVDs to watch, I got skeleton decor, I got hanging decor, I got wrestling dudes, I got Ghostbuster stuff, I got her stuff, man, I got signs, I got an empty box. I guess that means we're at the end. But anyway, man, I doubt, he, he did it again, he outdid himself again. <laughs> Music to my ears. Anyway, thanks for thanks for everything, ghoulish goodies. Like for real, you guys, you guys hit it out of the park again. I mean, I have a mess to clean up, which is f totally cool. Totally fine with that. Um, I am also wearing the best scarf ever made. I don't know what the sourpuss is, but I'm gonna find out. I'm also wearing the best scarf ever made. I know I just said that. I have the best pillow ever made, and you guys are like the best unboxing company ever made. Um, period. I'm actually debating, I'm really thinking heavily on your monthly subscription box. Um, I probably just like the budget one or something, but we're going to see, you know what I mean? We're going to think about it for a little bit, because I kind of like the idea of just having a bunch of stuff too, so something for me to think about, I guess. Anyway, this is, this is totally awesome. I don't know what else to say. I can thank you till I'm blue in the face, but... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. This is awesome. I'm going to have to figure out... I'm going to have to clean this <laughs> stuff up and, you know, organize my shits. Man, you guys, again, you guys hit it out of the park. I will definitely be ordering again. Um, your guys' link will be in the description box and all that good stuff. Like, if you want. Comment, if you want. Subscribe, if you want. It don't matter to me. Peace out, everybody. Stay creepy and be good. I guess. What?